A new look is on the way for Spring Green's acclaimed American Players Theater. Plus, Starbucks, picnic areas, or gas grills will look at which feature is more likely to attract Midwestern renters up next. Your real estate news starts now. Thank you for watching your real estate news. I'm Stacey Hansen. Let's take a look at your headlines. Spring Green's highly acclaimed American Players Theater is in the midst of a $7.7 million fundraising campaign to improve its theater and backstage structure. The Wisconsin State Journal reports that construction is scheduled to begin the day after APT's outdoor season closes on October 2nd. That work, which will include a complete teardown of the theater's iconic outdoor stage, is planned to be completed by April 1st. The new stage will remain outdoors and be built above an enlarged basement in sections. The expanded basement will allow for more trap space, which is used for actors to emerge from or disappear into the stage floor. The new stage will also have an overhead catwalk for lighting techs who are currently having to climb ladders to reach theater lights. Construction plans also include a new rehearsal hall, overall acoustics improvements, and replacing the wood chip floor in the theater lobby with pavers. APT said it will continue its fundraising push into the summer and even through the construction period. APT's summer season started June 3rd. Wisconsin loves its gas grills, at least that's according to a recent analysis of the most common rental listing terms in each state released by Zillow. They looked through every rental listing in 2015 and analyzed which unique search terms set the 50 states apart. In Wisconsin, rental listings were seven times more likely to mention gas grills. Illinois was 249 times more likely to mention forest preserve. Iowans seem to go for picnic areas in their rentals, and for Minnesotans, it's a seasoned porch. Elsewhere Elsewhere around the country, Nebraska was 178 times more likely to mention the word ferret in rental listings. And in D.C., listings were most likely to mention Starbucks. Stick around, we have more real estate news right after this. Welcome back to the Real Estate News. I'm now with Kirsten Goggin with Century 21. Welcome back, Kirsten. Good to see you again. Good to see you as always. I see you're offering a special for viewers that are interested in selling. Is that correct? I am, and I usually don't do this sort of thing, but I just keep selling all of my <laughs> listings as soon as I get them, and it's I've got tons problem. of buyers, and it's <laughs> not just, it's not an isolated problem. I guess it's a good problem to have. However, uh, you know, there's just, there's so many buyers out there frustrated, ready to go, ready to purchase. So um, if you are a move up buyer, if you space is getting a little bit cramped, you're thinking about uh, seeing maybe what your house is worth and then purchasing something else either bigger or different or in a different area, uh, get a hold of me because I will give you a discount on the commission to list your house. Um, if you're also going to be buying with me. So uh, different options I will offer uh, based on what your particular needs are and uh, what what your goals are. And But give me a call and uh, we can chat all about it. So tell me more about the packages you offer to people. Yep, I've got uh, three different packages to fit whatever real estate needs my clients might have. So, you know, we've got the pretty basic. Um, all, of my all of my listings come with professional photography, which is huge. So the MLS offers 25 photos. Um, I usually get between 50 to 60, or sometimes 80 if it's a really large property. But, um, and then it also comes with a, a fly down Google Earth, zooms in on the property, and then it actually walks you, does a video walk through. It's not like the panoramic, uh, just kind of pans the room and it gets all fish-eyed in the corners. It's like top of the line marketing for your home. And you have to have a strong web presence because if you don't look good online, you're not gonna get showings. So um, offer that in all of my packages. And then um, I also offer, the, it's called a, like a dollhouse tour uh, where you can zoom out and see the 3D floor plan of the property. And then you click on the room you wanna be in, boom, you're right in the room. You can do a 360, you can look around, you just zoom around. It's like you're standing in the room. It's pretty awesome. And then uh, for lakefront properties or large acreage, um, we've got the drone uh, capability so he will, make it look really awesome and show off what it looks like from all kinds of different aerial angles. So whatever your house needs, I've got the listing package for it. 
And those things make all the difference to you. Just like you said, it's just like being right there in, in the home if somebody's kind of on the fence about whether it's you know worth coming by and seeing it, they can Absolutely. get a good sense. And I think that you, you get so many more people in that way. Now, how should they contact you if they're interested? Yep, check out sellwithkj.com. Um, there's some video clips, some samples of uh, the marketing that I just described. I've got a ton of other uh, stuff that I do as well that is highlighted on that page. Um, and then there's also a contact form so you can uh, put in some information and find out what your home uh, would potentially sell for, uh, which is a huge question. A lot of people need to know what they're gonna have moving forward. So sellwithkj.com or you can also email or call me or kjsellsmadison.com. You should be able to just Google KJ and uh, find me. <laughs> it sounds great, definitely check that out. Thanks for stopping by. Thank you. Welcome back to the Real Estate News. I'm now with Rob Grether with Lake Point Realty. Welcome back, Rob. So good to see you again. How was business for you? Everything is great, Stacy. It's great to be back. Um, you know, it's an exciting time of the year. I think you've probably heard from others and you know, you'll hear, hear more about it from everybody who you talk to about real estate. Uh, it's just a really busy and great time to be uh, involved in, in business. Um, buyers and sellers, um, everybody's busy. If you can find um, something for your buyers to buy, um, and if you've got sellers to work with, um, which which I do, um, and I'm always working, looking to have more. But um, it's just a good time to to be in the market and be doing real estate. Yeah, definitely great to be busy. Now, anything new specifically at Lake Point right now? Well, uh, when I was here last, I think we just um, uh, introduced everyone to our new logo. So you know, Lake Point is is growing. We're located, our office is over on the east side of Madison. Um, you know, we've, we've got our agents involved in stuff across Dane County, but you know, we're definitely involved in what's going on on the east side. Um, La Fete de Marquette's coming up in about a month, month and a half. We're gonna be sponsoring an expanded part of La Fete. If anybody knows La Fete de Marquette, the event on the east side, um, they'll know that in the past it's been kind of in one area, but we're gonna actually be part of an expanded uh, family FET. So it's gonna be Lake Point Realty's um, family FET and there's gonna be bouncy houses and you know, climbing walls, things of that sort for the kids. Um, and it should be a pretty, pretty good time for everybody. Uh, to come out and, and check out and we'll have more updates on that later. Yeah, great, that sounds like it's gonna be a great time. Now, speaking of like the east side, I know you like to highlight some neighborhoods typically when you come in. Where have you been working lately? Well, um, the east side is, is definitely that, you know, Atwood and, and Willie Street area is a, a hot area still. Um, getting over towards Old Brick, I think I talked about that a while back, the East Moreland. Um, we've had a house on, we're, we're having, getting ready to bring a house out um, on Gunderson. And um, that's going to be listed by Vanessa, Vanessa Flores. Um, she can give you more details on the house. Um, you know, that area has just been really exciting to be working in. And I know that Vanessa has been, um, been busy and uh, this is, should be a great listing. Yeah, definitely a great area to check out. And just really quickly, I've heard something about the Flav Awards and you. Uh, you know, the Flav Awards is a, um, another project I've got going on. It's uh, in conjunction with the Sun Prairie uh, Bacon Brew and Barbecue Fest. It's a foods contest. Um, you know, I like to keep busy doing things, doing a lot of different things. So um, it's kind of an international flavor awards contest that we've been involved with and um, pretty exciting. And you always have so many interesting things going on. Rob, you're a true renaissance man. Thanks for stopping by. Thank you. And welcome back. I'm now with Andrew Kimball. He's the owner of Kimball Realtors. So Andrew, how is the market in Wisconsin Dells? Is it still hot? Like last time we talked to you, it really was. Yeah, it's really busy. It's the busiest time of the year for us right now. Right now is great for both buyers and sellers because there's more on the market than any other time of the year. So there's things for buyers to be looking at. And for the um, sellers, the uh, said the buyers are out there and that there's stuff on the market and the sellers are getting very good prices for it too because there's so many buyers out there. So really, really busy right now. Definitely the busiest time of the year. That's great for you though. So tell us about your newest listing. Yeah, we're really excited. We just listed the Flying J Ranch. It's um, 
1490 Highway 82. It's in the town of Springville, but it's about 15 miles north of Wisconsin Dells. And it's an 850 acre ranch that has a 5,000 square foot, five bedroom main home. The main home has this beautiful 1,100 square foot trophy room in it. It's got a spa house, it has a bunk house, it has a caretaker's house, actually has a lighted trap and skeet chute on the property. It has a um, rifle range that has a heated area for shooting the rifle range, several man-made ponds there, over 12 miles of um, snowmobile and ATV trail. So just a beautiful, beautiful, one-of-a-kind property. Wow, it sounds like a resort. Now, it sounds like there's hunting and fishing on this land as well. Yes, yes. On the property, there's currently over 70 deer stands. And every year on hunting season, they pull some just great bucks out of there. And there's actually um, 127 acres that have frontage on the Wisconsin River that they use for duck hunting and also for fishing there. And several of the ponds have fish in them as well. So it's a hunter's paradise. Anyone that likes to, to hunt and fish would love this property. Now, on the other side, for the ladies, I guess, tell us some more about the spa house that's on the yeah, property. Yeah, the, the spa house is really like a guest house. It actually has a um, hot tub and sauna room. And then it has a large open concept area where the living area is and it overlooks one of the uh, man-made lakes on the property with big, tall cathedral ceilings and just beautiful property. The, the guest house or spa house, as we call it, uh, just by itself is just a beautiful property. Well, that's amazing. Now, where can people go to get more information about this property? Because there's so much to it. Yeah, there really is. So if you visit our website, wisconsindollshomesforsale.com, you can see the newest listing, which will have a lot of pictures on there. And it also has, a, on the documents, has a list of all the different amenities because it's, it's almost impossible to list the amenities um, just on the um, MLS remarks. So if you look in the documents, it'll give you all the amenities as well as maps of the place and tell you more about it. So it's wisconsindellshomesforsale.com and just look at our newest listings. Now you do a lot of drone video. Is there drone video of this home as well? Yeah, we're actually, we're hoping Saturday, uh, weather conditions permitting to get up there with um, our drone Drone and get some great drone footage because this will lend itself perfectly for drone videos. So that'll also be on a website called WisconsinDroneHomes.com. You'll be able to find the drone footage of this property also. That sounds great. Well, thanks so much for coming by today and telling us about this property. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you for having me. And welcome back to the Real Estate News. I'm now with Becky Anderson from Trista on the Water. Welcome back, Becky. So how's it going over there? I heard occupancy is doing pretty well. It's doing great. We're um, at about 75 to 80% occupied. And we had our most um, inventory was on the one bedrooms and the two bedrooms, two baths. And we have only two one bedrooms left. Wow, so it's filling up quick. So if anyone's thinking about Trista out there, you might want to get on that soon. Now, you've also just added um, some more corporate apartments, too, I saw. Yes, we have uh, furnished a one, a two, and a three-bedroom penthouses for uh, nightly stays. So it's fully furnished, everything you need, and you can come there for one to two nights or even a week, a month and um, be right with the, all the activities that we have, be part of the residence, use the restaurant. It's uh, really, really a, an a added bonus. It definitely is, and they can start at um, just one night too, right? Yes, one night, um, a one bedroom for one night would be uh, anywhere between 250, 275. It's a great value. Now, I imagine with summer heating up now, you've got a lot of outside, outside activities out there because you're right on the water. Boy, do we ever. We've got uh, the rutabagas next door. So we've got, you can rent a kayak there or a paddleboard, or we have uh, kayak and paddleboard storage in our underground parking area. So you can actually take your kayak out and rutabaga will let you slip it into the lagoon there and you can paddle away. We have the uh, grilling stations outside that uh, are like an island and with uh, chairs to it so you can watch your, whoever's grilling and there's a fire pit. Um, we have the patio, rooftop patio, where people are already out there sunning themselves and sitting out there. Um, let's see, what else do we have? Oh, we have games that we furnish, uh, the, the bag, you know, that bean bag toss. Um, deal and uh, bocce ball then uh, that's in the courtyard area 
It's, and then we are right next door to the boat launch, which the city has refurbished, and it's really nice. They've got a fish cleaning station, public bathrooms, a little concession stand, and it's all nice parking. It just sounds like so much fun, too, because you've got everything you, you need right there for the weekend, and it's close to downtown, too, for people that work downtown or in, in the immediate area, right? Right. Downtown is 10 minutes, 10 minutes away, because you, you don't really get on the Beltline. You take the John Nolan exit, so you, it's, it's really easy. Yeah, it's super convenient and lots of fun things to do. Well, thanks so much for stopping by again, Becky. Thank you. Welcome back to the Real Estate News. I'm now with Chris Thomas. He's the owner of Right on Target Real Estate. So Chris, we're hearing a lot from people about saying they're calling about listings and then they're finding out it's already got an accepted offer. Do you have any advice for buyers just to avoid that happening to them? Yeah, we actually, we started this system where when we're working with buyers, we try to find out kind of what's important to them and we kind of have them make a wish list and we set up a specialized MLS search so that every time new properties come on the market, it automatically emails them those listings. The nice thing about that is a lot of those apps out there that you see um, that are being advertised, they don't have up-to-date information on them. So what ends up happening is you call on a house that uh, you think is available and it's not. So our system actually gives you the most up-to-date information and it helps people from losing out on those houses that are really nice and they could get in there and find if they like them quicker. Now, do you feel that having an experienced agent like yourself to help people buy and sell a home really gives them a big advantage? Yeah, I'm glad you asked that. Um, I believe that uh, it definitely helps uh, when you have somebody that's kind of been through the process a lot like myself. Uh, certainly the market's always changing. There's been times where it's been more of a buyer's market. There's been now times where it tends to be more of a seller's market. And we have to be able to advise them on how to go into a deal and kind of raise some certain expectations for them so they know what they need to expect. I mean, right now, there's a lot of times where you have to make really strong offers on houses, otherwise you'll lose out on them. So some agents are afraid to tell their clients that sort of stuff and it'll end up costing them big, you know, if they want a house and they lose it. That's so true and it's definitely worth hearing if it's gonna mean you're more likely to get your dream home. So how has your buyer system been working then in this seller's market? It's been great. Um, I think what happens is it saves people a lot of time because they're not driving around and looking for houses that aren't even available. Um, it certainly allows us to really weed out houses that don't match their criteria. Um, so that definitely helps. And then when they do find the house that they truly like, what ends up happening is uh, we could get on in there and look at it really quick. So if they want to write an offer, we can do that before other people get in the door. Yeah, and it's definitely important to be fast about that. Now, what other advice can you give home buyers to prepare them for this market? Well, you know, home buyers out there, they really have to realize that uh, they can't really wait. Um, if they see a house and they think, well, I'm going to wait three, four days to give me a call to let me know if they want to see it. Um, they really have to get into these houses rel relatively quickly because they just don't last if they're nice houses and they're priced right, especially. So I think that's the biggest thing. We also want to make sure that they're already pre-approved before we go out with them. So that way, if they do write an offer on a property, their offer looks stronger because they actually have that pre-approval letter attached to their offer. Absolutely, and that way you can just hit the ground running. Well, thanks so much for stopping yeah, by again Thanks today. for having me. And welcome back to the Real Estate News. I'm now with Josh Bieber. He's the president of Leaders Custom Homes. Welcome, Josh. It's so nice to meet you. Now, you do some new homes. Now, what kind of new homes do you actually build? So we build mostly semi-custom and custom homes. So what is your process then for building a new home for someone? Just kind of walk me through it. If, if, if I'm wanting to start it, how does it go? Right. So usually people will want to identify a lot. If they don't, it's not a big deal. But otherwise, they'll meet with me. They'll give me a budget. And since I'm the architectural designer and the builder as well, I'll usually start working with their laundry list to put together a perfect plan for them. That's really convenient too that you're the designer and the mm -hmm. builder because you just everything just seems like it's going to run so much more mm -hmm. smoothly too. So um, speaking of running smoothly, what common concerns do people kind of come in first and, and have it when they're first starting to build a home do you see? Well Stacey, usually the concerns they have is that it's kind of like a black box. They don't understand how building works. 
and I try to simplify it for them. You don't have to worry about all the fixed items. I usually just give you kind of a handful of things. It's kind of like buying a car. Just worry about how you want it to look. Don't worry about how it works. Good advice. So there's a lot of builders out there, as you know. How, how are you different? What makes you special? I think I'm different in that I am the architectural designer as well as the builder. So when you come to me and you have a budget in mind and you have that list of things that you're looking for, I keep that in mind when I'm designing your home, when I put together all those things uh, for your plan. Yeah, I think that's a great advantage too. So speaking of advantages, what are some of the advantages of building over just buying an existing home? If someone's out there just kind of wondering which route they want to take. Yeah, Stacy. I mean, people, it's kind of harder to find a home today because of a limited inventory. People will spend months looking for a home. And so what, what we can do is if you're going to see 30, 40 homes, what I can do is take the individual features of all those homes, kind of put it in a blender and spit out that perfect plan for you. That's a great advantage too because you're getting your dream home and you're so right too about there being such a low inventory out there right now. It's really hard to kind of get there before the other guy and right. get your home. So what projects do you have coming up now? So we have a couple of projects that are going on but a couple that are for sale will be we have one in Conservancy View which is like a farmhouse style home completely custom, uh, beautiful trim. It's got a two-story entry and a two-story living room with these huge beams inside. We have board and batten siding on the front. We have offices on the second floor and a huge basement with a nine foot ceiling and a 15 foot tall ceiling. And then we also have one coming up in Kilkenny, which is an amazing kind of Mediterranean style ranch with a 14 foot ceiling in the living room with a half barrel ceiling and as well as a huge master suite and an office as well as a four season porch, which is going to be fully marble tile. Those are amazing. Congratulations to you Thank on you. that for, for dreaming those up and designing those. It was so nice to meet you. Thanks for coming Thank by Thank you today. so much. Special thanks to our guests for stepping by today and to you, our viewers, for tuning in. Be sure to join us again next week. I'm Stacey Hansen for The Real Estate News, making a positive impact and leading the real estate market.